Is this the first time no one's recording? <laughs> Travel doesn't mean having to leave your city. You can live here in Los Angeles and travel to another country by visiting Koreatown. I'm David Chang. I cook. I'm passionate about travel and finding the most delicious things to eat. Okay, so there are five reasons people visit Koreatown. Karaoke, music, to party, spas, and of course, the food. The thing with Koreatown is that there are levels to it. You've got entry level, which is like Korean barbecue. Everyone knows about it. You got the next level, which are like army stews, smaller noodle shops, the sundubu. Then you've got advanced level stuff like solangtang or nenyeon, a Korean staple, but not very familiar to everyone outside of Korea. You have a lot of restaurants that only really specialize in one thing or two things. They may not have a menu in English. They may not have a lot of customers that are not Korean. That's what makes it so special. And if you can continue to sort of be curious, I think you're gonna be well rewarded. Hamung serves North Korean style comfort food. I almost think it's like a canteen for all kinds of delicious things that my grandmother used to make. If my dad was still alive, I would take him here and he'd eat there like every meal for a solid week, no questions about that. In Cape Town, it's all about the strip malls and the restaurant next door to the restaurant that everyone's at. Hamhung is right next door to Myungin Dumplings. The owner there is Korean, but he was born in China, so he makes these great Chinese-style Korean dumplings. Right next door, Moo Moo Bakery makes these delicious custard-filled fish-shaped pastries called taiyaki. It is awesome. The coffees are enormous and tasty and sealed in a can. It shouldn't make any sense, but it does in Cape Town. You gotta create gaps in the day to make room for more food in Cape Town. There's a driving range called Aroma, which has become this iconic place whenever you visit. You know, I used to come here years ago. I mean, I think this place has been around 30 years, maybe, something like that. And this is smack dab in the center of Koreatown. Playing golf as a youngster really shaped how I think about work. It gave me a sense of purpose. It was very important for my culinary career. Every time you come to K-Town, you gotta hit some balls and then you gotta eat something delicious. Alexandria Plaza is the mother of all strip malls. This single block is open 24 seven and turns over more tables in a night than most places in a week. Best day. Oh, yo. Yo, Tom, come over here. Yo, oh. what's up, bro? What's up, man? All right. The wait for Sun Undang used to be so long that other restaurants are like, I should just open up here and get the spillover business. And now, this block that used to be vacant probably has some of the best food per square foot in all of Los Angeles. I've been in Koreatown my whole life, and sometimes yeah. people forget, like, the ecosystem of a neighborhood. It feels like a whole different country, you know? Right. I don't. F I feel more Koreatown than Korean or American sometimes, you know what I mean? Damn. Yeah, because other countries you can find parking, you know? <laughs> I came out here in the mid-'80s and my dad took me to LA. I'll never forget, it's the first time in my life I saw a whole city in Korean. Right. You know, the longevity of this neighborhood and the businesses here has to do with the popularization of Korean culture, just through music, film, everything. You know, that helps also. People want to come here and eat the food. If there's a valet in a strip mall parking lot in Cape Town, there's at least one good restaurant there. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> What's like in the know food wise, music wise. Yeah, I think there's always some food trend that's going mm -hmm. on in K-Town. Not a good dessert. Dessert spots, yeah. yeah. Koreans always know how to make things pretty like, for Instagram. Like last year it was Korean corn dogs. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, those were really hot <clears throat> for a minute. What about the croffles? Croffles. Cro you have not had a croffle? Croissant waffle. Those, those are going flavors. crazy in the streets right now. <laughs> you have a lot of different pockets, a lot of different <clears throat> things happening in Cape Town. That's not just Korean food. Cape Town is close to just about everything. That's why it was considered the original Hollywood. And if you drive around Cape Town, you're gonna see vestiges of that old glamor, that old school Hollywood, like HMS Bounty. You'll do more, see more, eat more, 
in less square footage than any other neighborhood in LA. In one block, you can walk to five places, each one more delicious than the last. Every time you come to K-Town, you get FOMO. I have to tell myself, okay, next time.